Well, hello there! It's that time again. Time for the blog that truly blazes as it does every Friday. And today is Friday, February the 7th of 2014. And as usual, I'm going to go over the energies of the end of last week's reading, what we're coming into now, and of course, most importantly, what lies ahead of us at the end of this week. So do stay tuned. It's going to be a good one. That's right. The first card is the last card of the previous week's reading. Now this card was the Two of Cups, entitled Love, a very pleasant energy, Venus in Cancer. Venus being creativity, Cancer being sensitivity. So you may have felt very sensitive these last couple of days. You may have felt more creative. And for that matter, you may have felt more passionate about something or perhaps someone because it is a card of relationships. Now relationships does not have to be with other people, though if that works for you, great. It could be a relationship with a creative project, with something that you possess and that you love, but that you put a lot of energy into, okay? So you may have found your passion flowing, you may have found yourself being involved creatively in something that was stimulating to you and made you feel more alive, more in sense with your life's course. And as a matter of fact, We've even got more dynamic energy coming as the week progresses. That's right. The second card, the card of the present, what we're coming into now, is the Knight of Wands. Ooh, fiery enthusiasm. Look at him go, jumping off into adventure. Now, we want to guard against being overly impulsive because we are in Mercury retrograde right now. So we want to move forward. I mean, you don't have to stop everything you're doing just because it's a retrograde. It's just better if you put that creative energy into finishing stuff that you started before the retrograde. It's not a time for wholly new ventures. It's time for creative ventures that are based on the past or exploring things from the past. So use that energy, but use it wisely. And you'll find you can be very creative, very, very motivated because you don't have to give up your motivation, just go ahead and channel it into an area that's going to be most productive and safe for you. Which leads us to our third and final card, and the third and final card too is just lovely, the Empress, Venus, more Venus energy, lots of creativity, lots of creative fire, Venus is passion, Venus is fire, Venus is abundance. So understand that we can generate abundance at this time in our lives, retrograde or no retrograde, things can flow for us in a very powerful, meaningful, and dynamic way. And again, that creative energy, just go ahead and channel that back into projects that you started before the retrograde or maybe things you started during the last retrograde and consequently you did not finish. It's time to put that energy to good use. And if you do that, we can generate some wonderful results and have a very, very powerful week ahead of us. So there you go, the blog blazed. And it blazed briefly, but you blazed with it. And I appreciate you. I love you. I thank you so much for your support and your care. And until I talk to you next week, many, many blessings.